Hey guys and welcome back to Nifty Challenge. Just a regular monthly update what I've been giving you guys on YouTube. So let's see the structure of market what it is doing. I'm on a monthly chart of Nifty right now and uh, from what it looks to me that we are still in a uptrend. The market is in uptrend and we are on a short term corrective pattern that the market is doing. So in order to understand what the uh, proper structure would be and how would be the month of August for you. Let's see that uh, one important thing is that uh, we have a kind of a breakout in the market if you notice on the two previous highs this one and uh, after a breakout the market is waiting to do a retest which is possibly likely in this month and uh, which is likely to be in this month and we can be having this uh, correction up to a retest of this kind of a breakout okay so this uh, we will see on a smaller structure as well and uh, I'm expecting a little bit of bearishness in the month of August, so maybe a small consolidation month. Even from the history, if you notice that August month have been kind of a consolidation month in a lot of past uh, years as well. Uh, see, kind of a move stops when you have the month of August in 2018, in 2019. Even before that, uh, see the stop of the move happens, the stop of the rally in 2016 and you have in 2015, mostly a red candle that is what I am seeing in the past. So let us not go into that and see how the market could behave on a smaller time frame. On a bigger time frame what I can see that it is a stop of an uptrend where we have started a short term correction to do a retest of the multi breakout. Coming on a weekly chart on Nifty, if you notice uh, a similar structure here that uh, we have on a good uptrend and uh, likely a retracement or a correction which can go as per Fibonacci to minimum 38% or 23.6%. So if you see 23 .8%, 23 percent 23.6%, we have completed that already in this week and likely we should do another slow correction to complete a the retracement up to 38 percent that comes around 18,800 zone which is a good possible level which market can complete before a further rally begins but uh, since this is a breakout which we are seeing and if you see these two lines again on the weekly chart then we can say that uh, this correction should ideally be at least up to the level of 19,000 19,100 zones let us understand the structure on a smaller time frame now on nifty and then we will come to the wave structure what the market is doing so if we will see this as a top formation you can see that market has started a downward trend which is most likely following a pattern of one two three four five and if you see this one two three four five structure from here it is likely a one a two and a three that is going on or maybe a three that has ended followed by a 4 and then a 5 to maybe 19,000 or 17,800 or 18,800 levels but don't be further bearish from this area unless and until we will go below these zones. So I will, I will be discussing with you the structure of wave number 4 here what we would be likely to expect in the coming weeks in the month of August and possibly at round 1 trend towards, to one trend towards wave number, number 5. So let me just open one more smaller frame and uh, see the structure. Alright, so what we can see here, this is a classic pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where I am assuming that 3 has ended here and likely a 4 that is what we can see in the coming time frame in the month of August in the coming week. So usually what happens is that the wave number 4 is a very slow wave and it is likely to form a triangle or a flat corrective pattern or a structure which is nearly flat where not much of a movement will be seen in the market and it will be difficult for option traders. So if it is a kind of a triangle what you will see is the market will do like this. this and then you will have a wave number five towards a downtrend so what i expect in the coming one to two weeks is that market be doing a pattern like this this can go a little bit higher this can go a little bit lower lower or it can go a little bit higher like this can it can form a 
triangle like this you can form a triangle in the downward direction or a flat pattern but this is a kind of market where it will be range bound in three to four hundred points most likely as it is wave number four and then we will have a downward wave which should be completed in the month of august so what we will see here by the end of month of august that we will have another small red candle this is the august candle which is already started it is already red important thing to note in this month will be whether this candle will be bearish engulfing or it will it'll be an inside bar candle it doesn't look like a bearish engulfing one because it started from inside itself important thing is whether we will be closing below this candle on the monthly basis or not that is very far away that is 31st of august so presently if we see the smaller structure this is what you can expect in the market it is going to be a good option selling market where you should not be much bearish like not very big downside targets if people are talking to you about 12,000 again then please ignore because i see a flat kind of a market and then followed by a downward trend this flat market can go on up to a period of uh, mid of august to 18 19th of august or uh, sorry this uh, entire structure can go up to 18 19th of august and this flat pattern can go up to 8th or 9th of august after which we will see a downward trend in the market and we should be completing wave number five after this correction we should resume a rally the important thing to look for in this month will be the date of 18th august and the date of 31st august 31st august is a blue moon a super moon which is going to change the trend in the market so if we do not complete this pattern on the downtrend by 31st of august and we complete and we do not resume a rally back to the uptrend that means we will have a deeper correction and maybe september as well will be a negative month for the markets so that is about nifty most likely the current pattern what i'm seeing is that we will have a corrective decline structure where we'll have a flat kind of structure on nifty followed by a downtrend and i'm not bullish right now definitely markets are bullish overall the bigger structure is bullish but a retest is definitely pending which may be completed in the month of august and september and then we will resume a rally upwards now let's come to the structure of bank nifty here so bank nifty is doing a similar kind of a structure if you notice on bank nifty on a monthly chart first right so if you see on bank nifty a little bit difference what you will see here is if you see the retest of the breakout then bank nifty is trading below the breakout so it is kind of a fake breakout so if you will talk about bank nifty here the breakout has not even happened till now what we can say is or it is like one candle that has given the breakout and the other one is again coming back inside so it will be important to see whether the august monthly candle will be able to close back above this line if not then we will be pulling towards a deeper correction on bank nifty which can go up to 50 to 61.8 percent of the entire structure up move from this place right so the immediate uh, lower target the immediate correction first corrective target for bank nifty comes around 43,300 43,400 and if we have to go for a deeper correction that can go to 41,000 levels as well so be prepared because bank nifty is having a different structure here the structure is totally different from what nifty is having and it is more of a negative than what nifty is so let us see in a smaller time frame what is bank nifty doing here and what we can expect If you see the similar wave structure on Bank Nifty, and we go from here one, and then a deeper retracement two, then a three, and then most likely a four pattern here, which can take it back towards forty-five thousand levels, followed by a five structure. So similarly on Bank Nifty as well, it will be a consolidation period. The next one to one week to ten days on Bank Nifty is a similar kind of a triangle period where we will have a pattern like this and then a kind of a pullback so for this what is important in bank nifty are the levels of 45800 so as long as bank nifty is not going to close back above 45800 the structure will remain weak similarly on nifty if i give you a level to change this entire uh, scenario and that level will come around 19,700 zones. Okay, this candle 19,695. This is a very important level for Nifty. If market is going back and sustaining above, so now since we are on a corrective decline, I'll need two candles for Nifty to stay and close above 19,690. If we are closing above, then we may be resuming to worse an uptrend because in that case the structure will be different. How it will be? In that case, we are having an Elliott structure here, which is doing a one two 
and this is wave number three. In wave number three, we have one of three, we have two of three, we have three of three, and then this is wave number four, and then we will have wave number five, right? So in this case, if this completes here, and then we will have wave number five towards 20, 22,000 levels in a longer structure. So important is that whether this is the third of third, if this is third of third, we will have the fourth structure. If it turns and again closes back above 19,690, 19,700 levels, then it is not fourth, it is rather third of third. We will have a third completion somewhere and then we will have a correction to fourth and then moving towards five in that scenario. Whereas in Bank Nifty as well, if you notice, this is the similar structure and same ways, whether this is going to be the third of uh, fourth of third or whether it is going to be the fourth wave that will be if we do not close above 45800 i do not think it will be close it looks like a bearish structure to me where both nifty and bank nifty are on a short term correction and we may not see much higher levels on nifty bank nifty in the month of august rest if there is any changes i'll make a video video on that other than that uh, hope uh, you will follow be on the right side uh, nothing to stay much bullish the structure does not uh, impact on the stocks and other investments of yours because uh, that is a totally different ball game here and it doesn't affect uh, the stock prices much as much as if you're thinking some big crash is coming in your stocks will crash or you should sell your portfolio and all then please don't follow it in that way where well, this is just a temporary correction in the market otherwise market are ready for 20 22000 levels which also eventually will come after this correction is complete that's all from my end. Thank you so much. Uh, see you in another video. If I find a need to and give you an update, then I'll definitely make. So on a long term picture, a bullish structure and on a short term, we are on a corrective pattern. Thank you so much and all the best.